hello and welcome to the 122nd episode of the Go Jen podcast. Hi, I am Go Jen, your hostess. Um, you can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Go Jen, G O J E N N. Yay, welcome. How are you doing? How has your week been? Did you have a good week? I did. I had a pretty good week. Um, most notably, Thursday was the Bloodmobile Day at work. Um, I don't know where you are. If the Bloodmobile comes around and you just hop on and donate your pint of blood. So they come to my work every three, four months, whenever you're supposed to be ready to donate again. And I have been able to donate for the last several times. Sometimes my blood iron is a little low, but um, lately I've been able to give. And this time, uh, one of the ladies on the blood mobile remembered and brought my lifetime blood donor award. And so I was very, very pleased to get that. Um, you know, <sighs> If I haven't done anything good in my life, I've given blood a lot um, for a long time, years and years and more years, 20, 30, more than 30 years I've been given blood pretty regularly. Um, so I encourage you to donate blood. Um, I don't have a thing about needles. Uh, it doesn't hurt me. Um, sometimes I'm a little tired for the next day or so. Just need an extra nap or whatever. I always need an extra nap. This is a good excuse. <laughs> but um, so anyway, I encourage everybody to donate blood. It's it's a wonderful thing that doesn't cost you anything. Yay! So we just got back from camping. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know where that was from. Dust, probably. Um, we just got back from camping. We had been to the Dan River Campground in Stoneville, North Carolina. Um, it's very near Madison, North Carolina, Eden, North Carolina, if you're familiar with any of those. And um, it was a nice campground. It had a wide variety of campsites from the totally rustic, no frills tent site that just had a picnic table um, up to where we were and we had the full hookups. So we had uh, water, electric, and sewer all for our camper and that's really nice. Um, there was a pool, not too big, but a pool. Um, we were the only motorhome there. Everybody else that was there, and there were a lot of other campers, but everybody else was either in a fifth wheel or a pull behind. So um, they're different animals of the same kind of species, but you know, they're all pulled behind your truck or in all cases truck and um, so our RV is called a class C and that means that it's like it, the front end of it is a truck and um, it's all one big thing you've seen them I know you have and um, but it's not like one of the really huge buses they're called class A um, the really huge um, RVs are usually Class A and uh, we're Class C and very happy about it. We were the only uh, one piece uh, unit there. Everybody else was pull behind or fifth wheel and that's the one where it rests in the back of the pickup truck. Anyway, I know that's not, you don't care, but uh, it's one of those things where you have to learn the lingo when you start doing a new hobby or whatever. So anyway, um, we enjoyed it. It was a 
um, it was a popular spot for tubers. That sounds like potatoes. No, for people on inner tubes and rafts going down the Dan River, which this was upstream from us about an hour because the same river comes through our town. So um, it's like we could have just drifted all the way home. I don't know. But anyway, um, we did not go tubing. We did, hadn't planned on it or anything. But um, once you got, okay, like here was the, if I say all the way forward, this was the uh, full hookup sites. And then there was another row of full hookups and then a row that had just uh, water and electricity. Then there were some tent site places that just had uh, water and electricity. And then closer to the river were some just plain uh, spots cleared out for tent campers. And they didn't have any uh, water or electricity or anything. So they were really roughing it. We were, I don't rough it. When I say I go camping, I don't mean I rough it, no. Um, but anyway, the closer you got to the river, the buggier it got. We've had a lot of rain lately, and um, apparently that has really helped the, the biting, itching, scratching mosquitoes and uh, all kinds of bugs just... Uh, I can't even count how many bug bites I have. And I wear a little uh, anti-insect bracelet that usually keeps me from getting bitten at, at most all places we've been. But it was no match for the bugs there because it was, it, it and it's what you expect at, the, at a river, the riverside with, uh, had heavy foliage, but you could, just swat them they were just so heavy but um you know that i am very glad we didn't have a site that was like that <laughs> i would have been miserable uh which is very very much the reason that i like our camper because i'm not roughing it mm -mm. because we get hot we go for the walk we get all bug bitten and all this terrible stuff the dogs you know are sniffing and getting dirty and then we get back to the RV and turn the air conditioning on yeah not roughing it but really having a good time so we did we had a great great weekend and enjoyed that uh, campground we would go back so long as we make sure we don't uh, go down on the river or if we do we go like through we spray ourselves down with all of the terrible pesticide things and then go to the river and take off but maybe we'll do that uh, later it looked like fun and there were lots of people doing that so anyway yes did I crochet this week yes sorry I've just been too full of other things I think this may be the last week that you see my metro kerchief unfinished I am so close. I am so close. Oh, this is where I started, and it gets bigger, bigger, bigger. That's the top of the triangle. And here it's becoming narrower and narrower, much quicker to do a row. You know, I can do a row in half the time that I could do the longest ones, and it's very enjoyable to do. I say that every time, and I'm not finished yet. But um, here, whoops, get my crochet hook out without pulling out stitches. My plan is to finish this this week. I'm close enough to the end that I can do it. Um, this is the Metro Kerchief. I'm not sure of the pattern writer's name. It's, um, uh, her first name I think is, I'm not going to even say, just because I don't want to butcher it and then have it wrong on top of that. But you can find it on Ravelry, the Metro Kerchief. It is an all, 
crochet pattern, uh, an easy six row repeat. Every other row is a row of slip stitches in the back loop only, which gives it this. Okay, this is the back side. This is the front side, and you can see all the texture. See those textured rows? That's because of the slip stitches. And yes, they make this a very pretty pattern. But yes, they are tedious, tedious, because if you've done much slip stitch work, you know that um, it's hard because they're small stitches and they go into tiny little spaces. This is my nerd bag from Star Knits on Etsy. She is Alina of the Weasley Sisters podcast that I watch. And um, I saw her and I got this bag at the Shenandoah Craft Festival two Septembers ago. See? I have a memory left. Yay. So that's my one whip that is almost finished. Oh, this close to being finished. And yes, I'm going to work on that until it's finished. This is my, whoopsie, 10 stitch Tunisian square. This is almost finished, but this is taking forever to finish because one strip, just one strip that goes from the top to the bottom on this square takes over two hours of just you know, constant back and forth crochet, so. But it is mindless. I think I have, I have to finish, whoopsie, I have to finish this side, which is from here to here. Then I have to finish this whole side. This is where I was last week. I have to finish this whole side, and then this whole side. So I've got four or five hours of work left on this. This stitch marker tells me that this is the last side with six rows on it from the center. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then over here, it's already up to seven, so that means this side's finished. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yay! Um, but I do want to get that Metro kerchief finished so that I can start, um, so I can start what? I don't know. Christmas projects. It is August. And it's like I always tell my family, if you don't request something from me, handmade, crocheted, or whatever, if you don't request it, then you'll just get whatever I happen to make. And I highly suggest you tell your family that. Um, you know, if you'd like a scarf, tell me a scarf. Purple. Purple scarf. Red scarf. Blue hat. Green mittens. Whatever. Tell me something and I'll make it. But if you don't tell me, then... That's when I pull out that neon orange yarn and I'll make you a full face balaclava if that's what you... <laughs> if you don't tell me, that's what you may get. This is what I'm going to work on once I am finished with the Metro kerchief. I've already started this using the Premier Yarns Sweet Roll. Oh, what color is it? Rocket Pop. Rocket Pop. It's just a very... Um, these colors are the primary colors. Good grief. All I could think of was, they're colors! Yeah, on the color wheel, they're the primary colors. So I st am making a ripple baby blanket for um, one of my daughter's friends who's having her first baby. And so I've just started. I started with the uh, yellow, and then, you know, this yarn changes color on itself. So I'm 
in the red. And we'll see how many rows the red goes. It's a very simple pattern. It's by Lucy of Attic 24. She's got just the sweetest blog and she lives in the countryside of the UK and I don't know the name of the place, but oh, it's just idyllic. It's wow. Every time I read her blog or see her pictures or whatever I do, I just want to, oh, so beautiful. Um, so anyway, let's see what else. Um, books. I finished the book, The Pines uh, by Blake Crouch. If you've seen the Wayward Pines series uh, on TV, it's a series of books. I read the first one and I'm I'm done. I don't need to read any more in the series. It was, it was interesting and it kept me, uh, it kept me involved, very involved. Um, so I finished that. I enjoyed it. Um, B plus. Pretty interesting uh, premise that kept you guessing until the end because I would get to the point where I was like, okay, I think I know what's going on. No. So anyway, but it was interesting. It was a good read. After that, I read, yes, since last week, I finished one book. I started another and finished it. That was Magic Bites by Ilona Andrews. And it was the first in the Kate McDaniel series. It just immerses you in this future world where things are kind of like they are now, but there are upswings and downswings in uh, what they call tech, which would be electricity, and magic, which is not. And then, of course, you got your good guys and the bad guys. Ugh, the bad guys are really bad. Oof. Yeah. Gross. You've got shapeshifters, and uh, it's neat the way she does vampires. Vampires are just empty husks, the undead. Um, but they require a pilot. And so there's humans that pilot the vampires. It's really interesting, the shapeshifters and... Um, the main character is very, I like her a lot, woman, um, she just, you know, owns one pair of high heels, one fancy dress, and the rest of the times it's jeans and t-shirts. Who else do we know like that? I don't have any high heels. <laughs> but anyway, um, I loved it, and I will use my next Audible credit to get the next one in that series. Um, Alona Andrews, it's I-L-O-N-A, uh, Andrews. It's a husband and wife writing team. It's very interesting. Um, really neat. She's got, or they have, uh, several series. And I am interested to keep reading in this um, Kate Daniels series and then there's a um, something about like a way a way stop station but anyway then that's a different series series altogether but I loved her writing style it just flowed flowed wonderful I'd give it an A plus and can't wait to get the next one okay there was that and um, I am still planning to probably do the vlog a day in September and just do a video, a short video every day um, of, you know, what's going on. And I will warn you, I look terrible most days. This is good for me. Uh, my hair is semi, well, it's clean and that's, you know, it's behaving pretty normally. I make no promises on how it'll be. Um, and I will be away camping for the first few days of September uh, there at Labor Day weekend. But um, I'm going to see if I can get enough signal to upload just a very brief 
little vlog, V-L-O-G. Okay, anyway, that is, I think that's all that I have to tell you. I've just really enjoyed uh, my journal this week. I, I'll show you something that I added new this week. This page is a dream log because I have some totally wacky dreams. Totally. And um, I wanted to write them down. So what I did was I cut the corner off of this page and I'm planning on putting like a round sticker or something there to make it kind of stand out a little bit. But, uh, and then Days I don't remember my dreams, no big deal, and then just, sorry about that, a uh, uh, caller came in, and it was one of those, you know, call things, and I just declined them. Then I did some watercolors to make a background on this page, pretty, pretty, very happy with that, and yes, that was on my new Koi Sakura watercolors. Um, I did a lot of journaling this week and practicing uh, cursive letters. I'm trying to get a uh, like a, a headline font that I am going to be using. And then this was Blood Mobile Day. And um, I've just really been enjoying it. So this is today, and then this blank page here, like all these blank pages, so beautiful, so beautiful, they smell good. This will be where I plan out this coming week. So, I don't have any uh, hilarious jokes or stories to tell you this week, but I'll try to find one for next week, okay? Um, so until I see you next time, I wish you nothing but love and laughter.